Today we're going to talk about seller's disclosures. In Indiana, the seller will fill out a disclosure to the best of their knowledge what items are working, not working, or they just don't know in their home. So this form covers all of your mechanicals, your structural, uh, pest infestations, uh, pretty much all the parts of a home. So the benefit to the seller of a seller's disclosure is to go ahead, fill this out and disclose what they know works, what they know don't work. And honestly, some of the stuff they may just not know could be something in the attic, could be something in the crawl space that they've never seen. But what it does legally is it gives the chance for the seller to say, this is what I know about my house. There could be more things, but I'm not aware of them. And then it's on the buyer to have a home inspection to discover the rest. But this does protect the seller. And I always tell my sellers, if you have any knowledge, please put it on this if there's a defect. That way, as long as we disclose up front, there's not a problem when we go to closing. And quite honestly, if we've disclosed the issue, and the buyer don't ask for that to be repaired within the first offer, we really don't have to repair it because we already disclosed it. So there is protection for the buyer as well in this. Anytime we write an offer on a listing, we provide a seller's disclosure to the buyer. As I said before, that comes from the seller to disclose any defects they may have in the home. And for the buyer, they can kind of look at this seller's disclosure with their agent and go, you know, this thing looks pretty clean. They don't seem to know of anything that's not working. Maybe there's just a few little things. We're okay with that. Or before we make the offer, my goodness, this home seems to have a lot of defects already. I'm not sure that I want to, you know, buy something with that many issues unless the seller's willing to repair them. So a seller's disclosure is probably one of the most important forms we use in real estate, uh, disclosing the condition of a home. So the seller would sign this in the beginning with the listing, disclosing the things that they know are wrong with the house, and they will sign it again at closing, stating that the home is still in as good as condition as it was when the offer was made or better, because sometimes we do inspections and then we do repairs, so it could be better shape. Now, with that said, if a buyer, once the seller has listed the house and signed the disclosure, receives a copy of the disclosure and does not sign it and get it back to the seller within a certain period of time, the contract is voidable. So I would say it's very important uh, as a buyer to want to get your hands on that seller's disclosure, review it really well, make sure that you ask your agent questions, that you understand the issues on it, and then get that signed along with your purchase agreement to make sure the, the contract does not get voided by the seller. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.